What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? y'all what's good what's good we tune it in for another video man we finally back rolling back on the grind y'all see it by the thumbnail vacation time is over been on vacation for two weeks straight man two weeks back to back on and off these planes but now it's a wrap it back to the grind i'm up early in the morning we back on the cars man i feel like i ain't seen y'all or talked y'all in forever that's how I feel for real, cause I've been missing days and here and there, a day here, two days, cause I just been on the road. But it early in the morning, man, about to head to the city. My shocks finally came in. The shocks are in, man. Been a month, it took a month for them to get built and stuff, but they in. But that's what happened when you ain't just getting off the shelf stuff. They gotta build it, the valve and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna see how it work out. If it don't work out, We'll send them back, get them revalved, or we'll take them somewhere, get them revalved. I'll talk about all that later in the um, video about revalving and all that. But we're going to get the shots, man. I can't wait to show y'all these units. And uh, I'm finna go ahead and hit that road so I can beat that traffic. So I'm going to catch y'all when I get there. Stay tuned. Y'all see it. Hit them up. Put the information on the screen. That's it, man. Get here. Normal right there. I'll holler at y'all when I get back, man. Put y'all on game. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. We checking in. I meant to bring the camera out the car, but I just thought about it. I said I might well throw this in the vlog. We need some paint. Oh, uh, y'all see the high paint, man? I ain't getting that much, man. I'm gonna get about two cans. I got some at the house car. We're gonna repaint uh Big Meats engine bay. Cause I told y'all we getting ready to go in. We got the shocks. Y'all saw that. We just picked up shot. I'm gonna get two cans of this, cause like I said, I think I got some left. Two cans should do it, cause Big Meat's engine bay ain't that dirty. Y'all know I just did it. It still look good, really. I probably could clean it, but we're gonna go over it fresh, so when the big block go in there, it look good. Y'all see the price? This junk here is that much can, but I use the engine paint, cause you know it get hot in that engine bay, and I just like the VHT brand. They need to get at me, man. VHT, y'all watching this video, y'all need to get with me. Man, we're gonna start tagging these people on Instagram. Cause I be putting them on. But uh we're getting the oil chain too. For we're gonna chain the oil in John Jones. And then we're gonna chain the oil in Wifey Escalade too. So I told y'all back to work that we were using John John U Mobile One synthetic, of course. Getting the filter and all of that. My boy Scott helped me out. He always look out for me. So y'all come through. All those on Madison, Georgia. And then y'all know I use AutoZone one road of course too, so y'all know I love AutoZone and stuff too. So, but we getting that that we got going on. We're gonna train the all today in wife car. Camara still at Joe Betty Racing and Arc Shop. I'm gonna take the shots down there tomorrow. We're gonna get the shots put on. Then we'll be able to test it. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all the shots for Dolo. And then, like I said, I plan on putting the big block in big meat this week. Even if the transmission ain't done, we're gonna set it in the engine bay. So. We're gonna paint it or uh, change the uh, engine mounts out because y'all know we got steel engine mounts now, so we're gonna change them out. And then uh, we're just gonna make sure all the wires, everything good, and then put everything on the motor and then drop it on in there. So I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get to that. All right, y'all, so I'm back. Got the oil and stuff. We'll get out there in the heat uh, later on after I work out, and then chain wipe it oil. Take that down to the shop, man. We probably gonna be another vlog. I might do it today, but I'm gonna make another vlog. But man, look what happened. I'm getting the shots out the car. And man, my watch done fell out my wrist. And I'm so glad I had this on there, man. If you got an Apple watch, get you a protector. Cause this thing did its job. It cracked the mess out of my protector. 
I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it. But it cracked and mess it, boy. It y'all see it right there. It shattered the protector, but man, it saved the watch. It saved the watch. I'm telling you, get you one. I got to go get me another one today. I was like, man, I saw that crack. I said, boy, I hope that just the case took that fall. But it did its job, so I got to go get me another protector, man. We ain't wearing that today. But anyway, y'all see it. These Vikings. Like I said, this one, though, these Viking shocks. These things set up to perform, man. Not just, not just break my coffin down. This the hardware, I think. Yeah, this the hardware. And the, uh, the wrenches to adjust them. Pretty sure these big, big Dolo shots right here. Bigger box. I think them John Jones shots right there. Y'all see, we got, uh, man, there's a lot of stuff in there. Boy, that's a lot of stuff in there. What is all this? Wait a minute. It's a lot of stuff, boy. We got a box full of stuff. So, let me see. Rust bearer included. I'm going to have to get these tuck out, man. I'm going to get these this stuff tuck out. We got one, two, three, four. I'm proud of Camaro though. I just thought about it. Let me see. Uh, the shop. There go the wrenches right there. Got the car loads in here. Them for the car loads. Let me wrench it. So, what's in this box? Let me see. I don't want to separate these things. I supposed to have eight. Eight shots. Cause I got, we got front and back. Then I just talked to Uncle on the phone. He was like, man. He like, you might well go and bring them down here, nephew. I said, say no more, huh? They coming. So that's why I said they're gonna be another video for y'all. Uh I told y'all I'm coming back working, man. I'm coming back working. I had my vacations. I'm ready. So get back to it. Alright, let's see what this is. I don't even I don't even know what this is, man. I gotta shout out to my guy David, man, for making it happen. Automotive technician. Technicians. Said, no, I'm on the screen right now. Y'all hit him up to order your shots. Hit him up and other stuff. Like I said, he'll deal it. Man, it's a lot of stuff in here, man. How many? Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. So, let me see. There's four boxes in here. Let me take these things out. Let me see what we got. I'm going to turn y'all back on in a minute. All right. So, we back. Literally, as soon as I cut y'all off, it just hit me with everything is. All right. This Dolo shop called, I forgot, Springs come in separate box. Pretty sure that's what's in there, Springs. Dolo got coilovers. So, uh, because I'm running on wheels, I need more adjustability. So, them Springs in one of the box. Like I said, when you get coilovers, y'all, this is a good video for people because I know a lot of people on wheels like to buy coilovers now. Not only for the look. But mainly just to raise their car or just their ride height. That's, that's really why people get car over car. They just want to adjust their ride height. Not knowing that these shots really do serve a purpose more than that. So my car over, the reason it took so long, like I said, they were actually built. They got different valves. So these right here, you're not going in the store and buying these specific shots. You can ask for Vikings, this and that, but you're not going to get these specific shots. Because they know the weight of my car, what type of race I'm doing. Isn't it? So it got a certain spring on it. It got a certain valve in it and all that. You can have shocks revalved. They call them revalved and stuff to actually make them perform. With car lowers, they actually work the best if you mount them up and down. Yeah, these things I be put together. See, that's the, uh, that's part of the back. So let me take, right here. Nice. Yeah, the backs. Could be the fronts. But yeah, you can adjust the ride height. Man, that is pretty right there, boy. Yes, and ooh, that is beautiful. Man, and that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, yeah, we about to go up through there. We about to go up through there. Hey, man, we about to go. We about to go. And put these things on. This is the last piece I needed for Big Dolo. Whenever I get the car back, this all I got to do is put these on. That's it. Big Dolo is finished. Literally. 
this the last piece, man. Whenever I get the car back, I can have the car finished. Mechanically wise, I can have the car finished. That's beautiful. That's a that's a car logo. Like I said, custom valve. Just like getting a custom spec or uh, torque converter. So these big dolo. I don't know if in the front or the back. Let me see. Get the box closed back up first. Okay. We're gonna put these. We're gonna take these. Put them up. Let me see. And then let me see. We're gonna get one from the other side. Yeah, it's about to be on, y'all. It's about to be on. Get one of these right here. Coil over all four corners. Yep, see? All four corners. Coil over. That's how you do it. So when I put them sixes on, I got I can adjust them how I want. That's a beautiful shot, man. They're gonna look good, bolted up to that rear and stuff. So yeah, it's on. I start to get the weld on. We have the, the coil over. I start to mount them straight up and down, but I was like, man, it's not that serious. Now, if I had a straight all-out race car, of course, that's what I would do. I would get the ones you have to wear the brackets on. I wouldn't even get these. These, these are the kind of bolting stock location. But like I said, if I was, was all-out racing, yeah, I would have got the one that bolts straight up and down. They're gonna work the best. So these is big dolo shots. Now let's open up one of John Jones. Now John Jones, I didn't get no car loads. Wasn't needed. F body suspension work. This the F body suspensions, they work, man. I'm telling you. Let me get that. They really work. So I have like, man, I ain't need all that. But they got custom valve and two though. And those are the springs down there in the other box. Throw the car springs. Try out the biking. I don't mind putting y'all on good stuff, man. Everybody use QA1s, but Viking QA1, the guy used to work for QA1. That started biking. And these right here, in my opinion, perform better. So, let me bust one of these, though. I'm going to cut y'all back on. All right, so I got them open. I see uh, how they did it. So these are these are big dolo shots right here. One, two, three, four, front and back. Up under those is the uh, front shot struts for uh, the Camaro. Cause y'all know this is strut type deal on the Camaro on John Jones. So they up under here. And then I opened up one of these boxes. These are actually the spring. Cause I like man, those boxes are kind of big for a spring. So these are. The springs. How pretty that is, man. Now we can take them other taller springs out. Now I had just put in. I ain't get the car back in time enough to even attempt. So now we're just going to put these on then just just how we need to with the wheels. I ain't, I ain't on, I don't even have to run those springs back there now. Got car loads. But uh, this the uh, back shop over oh, here. This the back shop for John Jones. Yes, indeed. Uh oh, come up out of here. This the back shot for John John, man. These some pretty shots. These some pretty shots, man. Some real equipment. Like I said, you can just the valve and stuff in them, man. That's what I like. They actually build these things, man. This is where it's at. So we're going to put these on. They'll probably be on this week. They'll probably be on this week. Then I'm really going to be ready to go on the track. I did the last piece of John John. My bill's wrapping up, man. That's why I said it's time to start big meets. My bill's wrapping up. Big Dolo about to be finished. Uh, as far as drivetrain wise, not cause not cosmetically, but drivetrain wise, which is the most important thing to me. Big Dolo about to be finished. John John about to be finished. I like the big meat time. So I got a lot of content coming for y'all in the next uh the next few months. Both on the track. Shows and putting stuff together, turn the wrench. It's on again. Time for it to go in, y'all. Brand Coke game, BCG. Time to go in. 
So yeah, that's what it is. That the shots. Y'all see, we got them in. We ready to roll. Uh, I'm finna get this workout in right quick. Cause like I said, I got a busy day. So I've been gone two weeks. So we got a real busy day. I'm gonna put this back. So I need to separate. I'm gonna sort this stuff cause uh, they got the box stuff in there with the Camaro and vice versa. So I'm gonna get this stuff sorted out. And uh, we'll be taking them to the shop. And this right here is straight hardware, I guess. I'm gonna have to go through all the box to make sure. Well, I'm gonna get this workout in, so y'all stay tuned. We'll catch y'all in a minute. Boy, I'm tired. I barely hold the camera up. I just got to film my workout. I'm telling y'all, man, I need to start filming that health stuff, putting a little bit on health. Y'all know I got, a, I got a fitness channel too. Cause, man, I'm telling you, health important. I like. I like working out just as much as I like car. The way I say it, it, it more to it than car, man. It's a lot of stuff I like. Like I said, I like working out just as much as car. That's why I do it every week. Every week. But uh I'm over here at meat. Look at this, man. Little towel and shit. By the way, I said, hold on. Well, how'd it get out, huh? Anyway. We finna look at meat's engine bay. Double check, make sure you know. Ain't no snakes on the hill. Need none of that. Need no snake bite. Oh, my leg shaking and everything, boy. I ain't worked out. I went in today. I go in every day though. Oh boy. When I say I'm tired, y'all. And the day ain't no one near old. Meat! Man, I miss my boy. Where my keys at? Man, I did with the key. I laid them on the bench. Nah, here they go. Meats. Coming back. Coming back, bro. I promise you. Coming back. No more than 60 days. Probably won't take that, Meats. No more than 60 days. You're gonna be back alive. Look at this. Meat. Meat. Be back alive, boy. That's all I say. I'm looking for that car cover. It's in there. That dope, dope little car cover. Say it, man. Y'all want these car cover? I be telling people, I always asking. The link is in the description of every single video. Y'all see, when all my cars here, that's what I use on all of them. All gold. They UV resistant. They keep the water out. I done showed y'all plenty of time, man. I love it. Now, if you get a little rip in one, you get a little rip in one, you're going to get a little water in there. Other than that, it's good. See? Meat. Meat still look pretty good. It's just dusty. It's just dirt and dust. But we got to do it right. We got to do it right, man. I'm going to do my boy some good. I'm going to take that battery out, too, man. I'm going to get an optimal. Even though that battery's some good. I got like three. Man, I, got, I probably got two or three extra batteries, man. That good batteries. What from where I just was changing them out. Had an extra one for the Denali. That wasn't bad. Wifey Carl got an extra one. I put the one. No, I got two good ones. The one out of the Denali we put in Wifey Carl. Got this one now. Oh, uh, man, I got about three batteries. But anyway, I could get my warranty too. Thought about it. I could just change it out. Probably what I'm going to do. Use it for a future bill. But anyway, we got everything roped off. The wires already had been took out of meat. Uh, uh, we, we just wrapped them around here. I don't know what wire that is. These my starter wires right here. Bet you I won't get that one wrong. <laughs> I know that. They go on the big loop. Then that's the plug with a small solenoid. This is my uh, distributor wire. This all, I mean, ain't much, man. My uh, temp gauge and stuff, which I'm probably going to change all that out. This was the AC. Nope. I'm sorry. Alternator. It's the alternator plug, which we don't need it now. I got a one wire. Um, this. I can't remember. I think I can't remember. 
But anyway, yo, I'm gonna hit it with the press washer because y'all know we got the press washer. Uh, it don't look bad. It don't look bad at all though. But we're gonna paint over it again. Uh, two cans should do it since it don't look that bad. Uh, oh, I need a check valve. I just saw that I need a check valve for the brake boost. I'm gonna go get that today because a little stuff like that I forget about. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. I forget about. Uh, I'm gonna end up changing that master cylinder stuff. Uh, make sure this thing got some stopping power. Probably eventually gonna go uh, rear disc brakes in the back too. Got to make sure this thing stops. The brakes will be done before this thing uh, move, like really move. Uh, sliding and cross drill rotors. This stuff look good, but it, it actually serves a purpose. I mean, a lot of people, ooh, y'all bright. A lot of purpose get it cause of looks. And they building like the big the big rim car and stuff. They get it for looks mainly, but it help, it actually helps stop the car too, especially on the bigger wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that. Changing the brakes or uh, at least dual or quad piston. Depending on how big the uh caliper get. Cause I got to be able to put my 15s on. We're gonna run 15s in the back, 17s in the front. I will be running well with rims on these, so Y'all gonna see how much them thing cost for people that don't that's into the big wheels only. Y'all gonna be able to see how much some name brand racing wheels cost. They ain't cheap. But we're gonna run 17s in the front, 15s in the back. Uh meets will begin painted. It will begin their treatment. Same color. I can't I done thought about it time and time again. I can't see this car no other color. I just can't. I can't even picture it. I can't see the car no other color, and I can't see the car. With no custom grill and all this stuff. This is this is it. This the look. We got Dolo for all that. So this the OG. This the OG look with a little modern day taste, modern day flavor. That's what I call it. OG grill and stuff. But you got LED, LED fronts, and then you got a a flashy paint job. So like I said, OG look with a I mean OG with a little modern day look. We're gonna take the hood off. I've been told y'all many times. I do not like that hood. That is not the hood I had on it. Uh, I hate this hood. I'm just keeping it on because it's the same color right now. But as soon as it get ready to get painted, hood coming off. It'll have a flat hood. I uh, should be. I hope I better run a flat hood. Cause we're going to be taking these. But this is what y'all can expect coming this week. Uh, we're going to take these out. These right here. These got to come out. Y'all done seen me. Y'all done seen me take them out before. When I changed the wifey car over to a V8, y'all saw how I got them out, but now y'all get to see it again. So, we'll be taking these out. Shouldn't take long. Uh, I got the tool wrench and stuff for it. So, chain them, put the frame out, then the other ones bolt to the engine. That's easy. And that's it, man. I mean, we got plenty of space to work with on the hill. Header's gonna go slap under there. The exhaust already took off. Y'all know we already took the exhaust off. Uh, the rear already straight. I will probably be taking the mini spool out though and putting a full spool back there. I'm scared I'm going to break the mini spool, honestly. So, then it might not. I don't know. But I just be paranoid. I don't, I like catch. I like doing stuff before it even happens, having a chance to happen. So, I got to take everything. We got to clear everything out the trunk because fuel cell and everything. But then when we go to Lawless, uh, I'll be taking all this stuff out. I got a lot of stuff to sell. That I, well, I might keep on though. I got dry shafts, cross members, all that stuff for box Chevys. Uh, regulator gonna be changed out. Think it works so so. We ain't taking no chance. We're gonna put new. I got new regulators and stuff. I'm gonna be putting them on a fuel log, probably more than likely. So, uh, yeah, we finna get started, man. Y'all gonna see this car push back soon. Y'all gonna see this car push back. It's gonna be rolled back. We're gonna hit it with the pressure wash first. First video on the build, gonna be getting the under the hood ready. Uh, we ain't gonna take long with this. We're gonna make this still roll, but we're gonna pressure wash, clean it, let it dry, paint. Uh, there'll probably be one video called we're gonna have to let the paint dry. Then we'll come in, we're gonna install the mounts, the, the engine mounts, steel mounts. Uh, go ahead and, depending on how soon DJ get ready, we're gonna go ahead and bolt the uh, cross member in too. But if we end up putting the engine in before the transmission gets here, then I will not put the cross member in because I have to take it right back out. But if DJ give me a call like soon, we'll be uh putting putting the cross member in too. Y'all get to see that. We'll be bolting the G force in. 
so we can just slide everything in together and uh yeah they're gonna be it so they're gonna close this video out man i just want to show y'all them pretty shots and everything and tell y'all what's to come this week we about to go to work man i'm ready to go to work uh got john john video coming updating stuff because i like i said man i don't know i hope people don't think nothing happened to that car there wasn't nothing wrong with it i just been letting it then to see that unk shot because i've been gone you let's see that unk shot then uh after i get this we're gonna go back to summit too we're gonna be going to summit probably next week week or two tops i just want to get this set in here then we'll go back to summit and we're gonna get the rest of the stuff for it the nitrous uh system which i was gonna i was thinking about a plate i might go ahead and go with a fogger i just have to have the intake took off and uh put back on which that ain't nothing major and put it back in time I think about going with a fogger system, which probably what I'm gonna go with, a fogger. Uh, and then what else? Oh, we gotta get the, the progressive controller. I'm gonna get the same one I got with Dolo. That's a top of the line controller. So it, it's that little stuff. We gotta buy the we gotta buy the dry cell. Basically, it finish it up, man. Basically, we're gonna spend another bag, probably another eight thousand dollars or something like that. And that'll be literally everything, cause I'm gonna order my shots and all that stuff. I'm putting AFCO shots on this one uh not no viking f codes on on big meats so we're gonna order the shots dry shelf we already got the thing to convert it over to a 1350 u joint uh i'm gonna get everything i need to put this car together so when i take it to lawless i the rest of the stuff i'm gonna get it to jesse here you go jesse uh install the fogger get it timed up tune put the pills in jets i meant all that good stuff and it's gonna be ready and when i pick it up we're gonna be ready to go uh gonna go ahead and get these studs changed out in the back and i'll probably go ahead and get a spool man so my boy jesse and lawless crew they're gonna have some work cut out for them but they already know uh, i'm i'm really helping out because we're gonna completely get the car running but i like man i'm gonna put it in because i want to get y'all that content and while that's going i'm gonna get on these two rhythm and blue while it while meat's going i'm gonna be two at a time y'all know i can't do one one is easy to me so i'm gonna do two at a time hey little lady where you going? She's trying to creep, y'all. She trying to skate. Huh? Where you going? You trying to skate. She says she finna go to the store. She finna go to the store. Look at her hair, y'all. Huh? Come here, let them see your hair. Y'all know I have to show you the hair. <laughs> Look at her hair. She, she's like, right. huh? Okay. Look at her hair. Look. You finna go exercise. Yes. <laughs> Look at the hell, y'all. The hell fine. Put in the comments. <laughs> put a flame emoji. Alright, we're finna let her go then, y'all. But uh yeah, that's it, man. It coming. Like I said, F codes going on meets. We're gonna go to summit. We're gonna finish this up. But then I'm gonna start on rhythm and blues while this one is gone. So we're gonna be double trouble tagging both of them. I'm gonna start on short block for rhythm and blues. This really ain't gonna take long. All I'm doing is uh, switching the short block out and the headers, gonna have a bigger header on it. This car gonna make over 400 to the wheels. I'm seeing it now, the combination I got, uh, I got it put down, what I'm gonna put in it, camshaft and all that. Guarantee I'm gonna make over 400 to the wheels. So the whole fleet gonna be over 400 to the wheels. So yeah, that's it, that's it y'all. Another update, man. Not actually, it's a part update, but it's all good. Uh, I'm going on shooting two videos today, man. I'm finna crank the ride racks and back up called John Jones. It's about to be on go. Uh, I figured out what the boost spike was. We got that situated. So that won't be happening again. Uh, and yeah, I got some big thing going, man. It worked. It's grind time, second half of the year. We done got the vacations done and all that. It, we enjoyed ourselves. Now it's time to work. So brand coat game, we about to crank up. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm out.